fake news. Yes, it's that bad. As long as it's on Facebook and people can see it, as long as it's on social media, people start believing it. Some people looking for information read and then shared those false articles without even realizing that it wasn't true. Capable of driving a nation's back. People have made a very clear decision to take a different path. Of the independent United Kingdom. Elect a representative. Sorry to keep you waiting. Come. We'll just make you do stupid things. We just cannot tell right from wrong anymore. Social networks don't know how I to fight it. I wish I could tell you that we're going to be able to stop all interference. But that just wouldn't be realistic. And even as a synonym of credibility, journalism is also struggling. The Metro, the newspaper with branches all over the world, wants to go beyond traditional tools. And in Brazil, a new idea came up, and it's already helping. Presenting Capture Against Fake News. We all know that annoying thing called Capture. It's designed to check if you're not a robot. What if we use this tool to educate people about fake news? Instead of selecting random images, the user must select which one contains fake news. Either getting it right or wrong, a brief explanation with the true facts appear before you can move on to comment. And it's all happening at the place known as a massive perpetrator of fake news, the comment section. Every day, on every news, people are learning to separate truth from fake. And what started small, it's already becoming a new tool to fight fake news. The number's probably 28, 29, as high as 35. In fact, I even heard recently 42%. Well, which one is it then? <laughs>